what are some of the risks with uh, remote offboarding? So your employee may still have access to um, the systems in the network if they kind of have their hands on their device after their last day. Uh, they can still potentially copy sensitive data over to cloud storage or their own flash drive. Uh, and you know, now companies, uh, devices actually don't make it over to companies on the termination day itself. So just like other shipped items, you know, your package could be delayed, it could get lost, it could never make it back. So if your devices still contain valuable data and they fall into the wrong hands, this is a really big um, security threat. So what steps can you take to kind of prevent any of these risks with remote offboarding? Here's what one of our customers did to combat this. So they're in a risk management. They have over you know, 4,000 employees at their company. Um, and what they do is that they monitor workday for termination events, and then they automatically create deprovisioning tickets in service now. So on the termination date, you know, you remove the acts, you remove the user, the groups, um, you move the user from uh, various groups in Active Directory, and then using Sentinel One, um, they can actually essentially turn the laptop into a brick by deactivating employee access to their laptop. Um, this is all done uh, virtually. So after this, the employee uh, can't connect to any network, can't use the USB ports or uh, for connectivity or transfer. This is giving back control of these devices to IT on the employee's last day, a very unique way of using automations for uh, security. So one more example of that, um, you know, the same, uh, the same enterprise cloud company that from previous slides, they're able to minimize security risks by actively monitoring box for any suspicious download patterns using Splunk. So in the case of an incident, Workado uh, will search for the downloader's manager and Workday and then send the manager a Slack notification to alert them. Um, and then this manager is prompted to either approve the action, say it's okay, it was expected, um, it was expected uh, uh, patterns, or we can actually revoke the downloader's access in box with one click in Slack. So the manager can just hit revoke access and that instantly revokes the downloader's access via Okta. So the cybersecurity team at this company can react you know, much more quickly to threats and take action as needed. So orchestrating your security responses by connecting these apps, that's where Workado and um, automations play a very important role. 